I am here with Morgan, Hi. who is also my cousin's girlfriend, so she's gonna let me put makeup on her. Um, we're gonna do a prom look. Kind of like a smoky eye and like a neutral mouth, but we will show you how you can do it too for prom. And we're gonna try to use all, kind of a mix of drugstore stuff, but mostly drugstore stuff, so it's like friendly on your wallet for prom too. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a BB cream all over and that's going to prime her face so the makeup will last longer, especially for prom, you want to make it, you want, want to put a little bit more makeup on than normal because for pictures and things like that. And this is the Revlon Photo Ready BB cream and we're just going to put this all over. And I think this is in pale light. Your skin kind of looks amazing with the <laughs> BB cream on, like, oh, we're done. <laughs> you don't need any concealer. But for pictures you do because you're gonna get take a lot of pictures for prom and usually anytime you do pictures you have a little bit more makeup than normal. And this little beauty blender thing, it kind of makes it feel like you're getting like a face massage. Okay, so after we do that, we're going to put foundation all over, and this is NYX in Sam Beige. I did my own makeup at prom, but it was horrible. <laughs> and I did my own hair, and it was horrible too. It was just bad. I hate looking at pictures and I'm like, oh That's my god. <laughs> well, and I feel like it's better to do a classic beauty look than something mm -hmm. that's like, put your chin up like that. And then so especially for prom, you want to make sure that you blend really well down onto your neck and your chest area because you're probably wearing like a strapless dress or something so you really want it to look all blended and beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to do some concealer and we just want to make sure that we conceal the eyelids really well because that's going to look really red in photos and we are using the Sonia Kashuk Concealer Quad in Light. <laughs> then look up for me. And I'm just going to use a little darker like peachier color below the eye. And it's probably going to feel like you have like heavier makeup on than you normally do but um, it's going to look And you always want to conceal around the lips too, so you get the true color of whatever lipstick or lip liner you're putting on. So I'm just going to take this color and it looks super dark. It's just a concealer pencil from L'Oreal. But we're just going to do this to add a little bit of a little bit of contouring to your face. But again, you can't see how crazy it looks, so. And then look up for me. And then we're just going to blend it all away. And she will look totally normal in it. <laughs> the concealer on it makes your face look really flat and kind of just one-dimensional and then by just adding this darker color back in it just I'm just gonna use the bare minerals powder and we're just gonna use this as um, her setting powder because you want to make sure you set your makeup so it lasts all day and night long so now you still look dewy and glowy but your foundation is going to be set for all day Another thing I like to do is if you really want to get like concentrated around the eye area, is I like to take the powder and then just press it in with the sponge. Then that way it will make sure, look up for me, it will make sure you don't get it underneath your eyes or look up again. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania and it's a loose pigment and any loose gold pigment will work and I'm just going to place this on the inner corner of the eye and kind of right here in front of the eye area and just pack it down and then start to blend it. And then we're just going to press it right, right underneath the eyebrow which we're going to fill in a little later but that's good for now. So what we're going to do is we're using all colors from the Naked palette too, or a drugstore option would be this palette in So Over It from L'Oreal. It's got similar golds and bronzy kind of colors, but we're just going to be using the Naked palette. So I'm going to take a dome shaped smudgy brush and this darkest color, it's like a dark, a dark coppery red brown in Busted. And I'm just going to gently apply it on the outer corner of the eye and then just work it into the lash line towards the inner corner of the eye. And then once you've placed it down, just start kind of smudging it into the crease and then kind of bringing it gently right up above the crease right there. And this is just going to be our first layer of adding a little bit of depth and dimension to the eye. And then kind of bring it up a little bit towards the eyebrow out here in the outer corner. And there's layer one of getting it darker. 
Then the next color we're gonna take is I'm gonna take Snake Bite, and I'm gonna place that right on the very center of the eye, and we're just going to kind of blend it in towards that super highlighted color we put on the inner corner of the eye. Then to soften up any blending, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the face powder. I'm gonna take that on a brush and kind of soften this up. If you've made any mistakes blending or with your smoky eye, it kind of knocks all the color down and makes it look much more even. Now we're gonna take any black eyeliner. I'm using Perversion from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to go right along the lash line. And we're gonna go back over this with the eyeshadow, but this is just gonna give it a really dark pigmented base. And you wanna get it in as close to the lash line as possible. And then we're just gonna extend it slightly past the outer corner of the eye just a little bit. And then look up and we're going to line the waterline of her eyes. And then we're just using this Sonia Kashuk palette that has like all these cool matte colors and we're just gonna take black and an angled brush and I'm just gonna press that down right on top of the eyeliner we just put and you wanna go right into the lash line. Like you wanna be pushing it in right where the actual hair of your eyelashes are growing out of your eyelid. It's just gonna give it a really deep, dark, sooty look to the eye. And just press it in really well all the way to the inner corner and then extend it a little past where you went with the pencil. It's just gonna give it nice dimension. And then I'm gonna have you look up. And then I'm just gonna press this down right onto the, where the waterline meets where the lashes are growing out. And it's just gonna give it a really, really dramatic look for the eye, but it won't look too, too crazy and dark. Okay, so now because we want it to have a really pretty highlight color underneath the eye, I'm gonna take a little bit of this YDK, which is a light copper, and then a little bit of this Snake Bite, which is a little bit of a, kind of a gold taupey color. Look up for me. And I'm just gonna smudge this right underneath the lower lash line and it's just gonna give it like a really gentle kind of look underneath the eye. Now to add a little bit of pop and dimension and to make this look a little smokier, I'm gonna take this busted again, the dark kind of red brown shimmery color and I'm just going to place this right on top of the eyeshadow and the liner we just put and this is what's gonna blend it and make it look really smoky and go all the way to the inner corner of the eye just softening that line so you don't really see that harsh black eyeliner line. We're gonna go into the crease a little bit and kind of just work this to make this whole outer corner look a little dark. And then we're gonna put the false lashes on and when we do that, it's just gonna make the whole eye pop and look amazing. Keep blending and blending. The key to a smoky eye is just how much you blend and blend and blend and blend. So I'm gonna take a flat fluffy brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of this half baked color which is like a light frosty pink. I'm just going to blend that right on the kind of where we put the super frosty, and then this is gonna be mildly frosty right here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit right underneath the brow bone. And then we're gonna go with Snake Bite, which is our kind of mid-range color, and just blend that onto the outer corner of the eye. Now I'm just gonna have you look straight ahead, and I'm gonna just curl your lashes. We'll just give you a countdown. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just gonna put a base of mascara on. So we're going to use this cream color from L'Oreal in rose gold. Then we're gonna be using the Too Faced Candlelight Glow, which is absolutely gorgeous like this. And we're just gonna take a mix of the, the pink and the light. And we're just going to place this right there on top of the cheekbones. And this is gonna make you just look like a little angel on the dance floor. Okay, so we're gonna put the highlight right here and down the center of her nose. I'm also gonna take the white part of the highlight and I'm gonna put that right on the cupid's bow of her mouth and that's just gonna set it up for extra fabulousness when we do her lip. Okay, so for the lip liner, we're gonna use a really nude kind of pink, and this is Rimmel and East End Snob. So I'm just gonna have you go like this, kind of just make your lips look really on creasy. It's like being at the dentist, like you can't talk, so I won't ask you a bunch of questions. What color is your dress, Morgan? And it's like a really pretty matte color, because we didn't want to go with like a really sparkly mouth. We'll just fill in the corners a little bit. And this is just gonna give like a really 
pretty nude, rose, kind of pinky flushed mouth. Fabulous. Now Morgan is almost done, but we're gonna put lashes on. So we will put lashes on and be right back. So this is Morgan before <laughs> lashes, and now we're back with lashes. This is the after with lashes. It makes such a huge difference. So I'm just gonna fill in her brow, and then we're totally almost done with your look. So I'm just going to draw these in with a pencil first, and then I'm just gonna define them and make them just a little softer. Okay, so we already finished doing her brow on this side and we're just gonna fill it in. We're using Omega, which is one of my favorite colors for blondes from MAC and an angled brush. And we're just gonna define the brow. We're not really gonna change the shape too much. Just okay, so we're finally done with Morgan's already beautiful face. We just made it prom beautiful. Um, but it's really glowy and dewy and has a nude mouth. And then the eye is like a really kind of um, simple, glowy, romantic, smoky eye. It's not really dark and dramatic, but it's gonna look really elegant. And I'm gonna put more pictures too, so if you guys wanna click the link to my blog, you can see more of the before and after pictures of beautiful Morgan. Thank you for being my mom. Thank you. <laughs> and we will see you in the next video. Huge hugs from my house to yours. Bye. And get ready for our next prom before and after makeup tutorial. To learn how to apply false lashes, you can watch this video or click anywhere on the screen if you're watching it from a computer and you can see it right now.